Greetings and salutations, fellow fragrance lovers. Um, I am a review for you guys. Um, again, uh, and I'm going to apologize right out of the gate because uh, I'm just getting over a cold, so there's going to be a lot of pausing in this video. Not too much, though, because it's going to be a quickie. Uh, I got a little bit of a frog in my throat, so uh, I'm going to get this done as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and get this underway right now. Bing, bang, boom. This is coming out of the house of Paris Monte Carlo. You can see that right there. It is called Essence de Patchouli. Phenomenal fragrance right here. Really sexy fragrance right here. Let's jump into the notes. Stand by. All right, and here we are once again. Like I said, time to get into the notes of this puppy right here. Uh, let's go. Coming in at the top floor, this is gonna have rose and geranium done. There is only one middle note, as this is a three-tiered fragrance, and that middle note is gonna be iris, or oris, depending upon you know where you're from or what you like. And then it's gonna bottom out with cedar, guyac wood, uh, patchouli, musk, labdanum absolute, and coumarin done. All right, what happens when I spray this on my skin? Uh, to me, whew, um, damn. This is a really hard one to explain, um, but I will say this. Uh, if you are looking for, and I mean, okay, first, we already know since you heard the notes that the patchouli note is in the bottom of this tri uh, fragrance triangle. But even after it dries down, if you are looking for a girl to walk into a room who is obviously a flower child. She has on a smock. Uh, she's got a headband around her head, long, long hair. Um, she's got beads everywhere and she is very hairy and she reeks of that hippie style patchouli. If you're looking for that, forget about it. That's not what you're gonna get here. This patchouli, I don't know what kind it is, where it comes from, or nothing like that. What I do know is it smells nothing, nothing like the uh, quote-unquote uh, typical patchouli. All right, back to what I was going to say originally. When I spray this on my skin, uh, it opens up with a really gorgeous floral. This is basically a, uh, a geranium scent, um, and it is a gorgeous geranium it overpowers the rose. You can get the rose at the very top of this, but I'm telling you, this just smothers it practically, uh, almost into non-existence. Again, you can smell it, but you're going to be hard pressed to do it. You better know what the rose smells like. The geranium is, is, is really beautiful. And I hope you do like the note of geranium because it's going to be sticking around throughout this fragrance's tenure on your skin. It is not going to go away. It will fade slightly, but it will not die, period. Even long after this fragrance dries down, you're still going to get uranium. Now, the other notes will appear, um, you know, make appearances, uh, pop their head up, say how you're doing, go back down, whatever. But the geranium is like that house guest that just doesn't want to leave. Now, if you like geranium, you're squared away. But if you don't, you're not going to like this. Again, if you're looking for that typical, you know, hippie uh, patchouli, stop right here. Stop the tape. Not going to happen. In about an hour, maybe 90 minutes into this fragrance, another floral kicks in, and it is the iris, and again, it is beautiful. Once again, the geranium is playing the top role in here. It is the it is the star, you know, it is the star. Everything else are guest stars, okay? The iris will come in, it will make an appearance. Um, you will smell it, and it is a beautiful note. Make no bones about that. Um, 
but again <laughs> I know you're, you're sick of hearing it but I, I have to I have to to beat this into you guys all those other notes you're gonna smell but the geranium is a big player in this fragrance now about another half hour later then the base notes start to kick in so you're talking about two hours into this fragrance before you start getting any other woods the guyac is nice the cedar is nice again very detectable a little bit sour um, now the musk does come through um, and it's kind of light uh, the, the lab denim absolute is another big player in here but that is deep into this fragrances dry down deep um, it does get powdery so if you're not into powdery fragrances again stop the tape this is not for you very very strong um, powder presence here but not so much so that it's gonna you know make you puke or anything like that but it's just it's very pronounced um, and I think that this is blended beautifully absolutely beautifully this fragrance right here now what you may get out of this fragrance you know is, is anybody's guess you you only have to try it for yourself to figure that out but depending upon who you ask I mean if you look at the the, uh, the responses uh, when you read about this fragrance on you know for Grantic or whatever you're gonna get a lot of different accounts of this fragrance some people say that it's really musky others say that it's you know nobody says it's heavy in patchouli but a lot of people say it's musky, it's heavy with geranium. Um, you know, a lot of people say that it's, um, some people say it's heavy with the, uh, the rose. But again, this is, I'm telling you what it, you know, what happens on my skin. Um, I get every single note that is listed here. But again, they are small potatoes compared to the geranium. Um, and then when it dries down, uh, the lab denim absolute. So those are the things that are, that are ma the, the main players in here. So let's get into longevity uh, and silage. Stand by. This is a tenacious little bastard right here. All right, um, and not only is it tenacious, uh, it, it it's not going to go away for a long time. So it's going to be on your skin for hours and hours and hours. I'm talking probably like anywhere between 12 and 16 hours. Um, it's going to be on your skin, and it is not shy. Okay, not by any stretch of the imagination. Now I have read accounts on uh, Fragrantica saying that you know it's moderate. And it doesn't have great silage. Eh, wrong answer. Now, again, like I always say, your mileage may vary. That's what I should have said at the outset, so I apologize. However, on my skin, it is an absolute beast. And it jumps off the skin like friggin' pogo sticks. Alright, it is an absolute monster. And once it dries down, again, it, it, it doesn't get shy. Those notes will make appearances. But again, in, in case you missed it, geranium is a huge player in this monster and uh, when the powder does kick in you know that lab denim absolute um, it gets really sweet I mean really sweet it's not sickly sweet but if you're not into sweet fragrances then you're gonna want to stay clear of this one because uh, again once that you know those base notes kick in and that lab denim makes it you know makes its presence known it's gonna make its presence known really hard so uh, just keep that in mind if uh, you know if 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 you're into that again if you're a patchouli freak you know one of those traditional typical patchoulis no this ain't it sorry uh definitely unisex as unisex goes again you guys know me i don't put gender on fragrances anymore basically if it works on my skin i am wearing it i don't give a damn who it's marketed toward i'm gonna wear it now I absolutely love this. I think that men can get away with it. Again, if you're one of those guys who's, you know, really macho and you're like, yeah, I don't want to wear nothing powdery, you know, but it, it can be done. That's just, you know, that's my opinion. One man's opinion, take it, leave it, do whatever you want to do with it. I think it's awesome and it is a beast. Prepare to have this stick around for a long time. So much so that if you do or when you do, pardon me, take a shower to remove this, 
you better use a loofah or something very abrasive because it will still be on your skin after a shower. So you're gonna have to scrub really hard to get this off. It, like I said, it's a tenacious bastard. So keep that in mind if and when you purchase and subsequently wear this. Kirish. Um, as to what this may resemble, um, I don't see anything, well at least nothing in, in, nothing in my collection resembles this at all. You know, there are some accounts that say that it smells like SSD patchouli from, uh, I think it's Alyssa Ashley or something like that. But I never smelled that. Never even heard of it. But uh, to me, this is very unique. Uh, so, you know, that's basically all you got. Um, the scent is beautiful. Longevity is incredible. Sillage is incredible. So, you know, you, you draw your own conclusions. Do what you got to do. Ba -ba 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 -ba, see what you think. I love this. Very unique, very long lasting, very tenacious, and a friggin' beast. Done! That's all I have. Once again, people, you're looking at it. SSD Patchouli from Paris Monte Carlo. My next review soon. I'm out of here. Later.